What's cooking folks, Vermilion Phoenix here. I am going to jump into some Orcs Must Die Unchained today. Uh, this time I'm gonna do another co-op matchmaking with uh, for Siege with a new hero. Um, I have done Blood Spike and Zoe so far. So this time I'm going to try out uh, maybe somebody with a slightly different role or play style. I'm gonna try somebody that's more defensive if uh, they don't get picked by somebody else on the team. But we'll see how it goes. Just gotta wait for that timer to complete. All right, here we go. You know what? I said I was gonna try to go defensive, but I'm not. I'm actually gonna choose Oz. So Aziel is weird, um, based on his uh, description, which you can read in the hero menus. He has long range attacks to steal health. He can uh, channel his health into his mana, and he has high damage attacks that like chuck mana at you. Now we'll get some uh, skulls now. So. It seems like the main goal with Aziel is to just like let as many things as possible or just be near things that are dying so that his maximum mana can increase, which increases his uh, attack damage. And then fire off uh, like really strong like attacks at enemies and make sure that they connect. Overall, like he he's not too complicated to play. But he does a lot of damage. Uh, you just need to make sure that you don't overextend yourself. His attacks have pretty long range. And since his primary attack heals him, uh, whether it hits uh, players or minions, it's a good idea to kind of just hang behind whatever you're leading and uh, kind of make sure that they deal damage. Okay, so we have an Ivy. We have a Zoe, we have a Max. What's the other guy playing? There we go, Smolder. So, guessing Smolder's on defense. Smolder is actually pretty good. Um, it's kind of hard to kill her off because she has a built in automatic resurrection that deals uh, AoE damage. So, if she gets swarmed by minions and killed, then she takes out a good amount of your minions' health. And she has like fire bonus, fire damage traps that increase the damage that other fire traps and she deals by a significant degree. You will all belong to me. Oh crap, I'm the elite this player. Or the next. I feel so special. Um Get to the rift or do not Makes no difference to me. Actually I'm just gonna go all crossbow works in the beginning. Crossbow characters, whether they be orcs, humans, or whatever, um, tend to deal a lot of damage uh, rather quickly. And they focus on hitting heroes. So if you ever need, like, here, if, if you feel like you're running a lane and heroes are kind of like stacking on you or you don't deal enough damage at the moment, if you pop in some range damage characters then somebody's playing the role wrong. Kill the human my Why the voices are hurting me? That's like playing your role right is really important to the game. Like you get bonus experience for doing it, so it's hard to even justify and not playing your role correctly. We're breaking through the defenses. Broken through the gate. Ah, they get to kill the uh, slow and time.
I need to go regain. So we're not at level two yet, but I can go sit next to this guy. And for a few seconds, I'll regain a ton of magic. HP, channel it to get my mana back so that I am defensive, and now I can go hit up the minions for some nice boosts. Got a level, 10% life steal to primary attack, death on grounds, guaranteed stacks for soul harvest, or cooldown on the consecration. So I'm actually going to do a cooldown on that because, um, it can deal damage, I think, with the next upgrade. Uh, Second minion portal. I need to go fill up the uh, first minion portal. Or the second one, I'm sorry. First one is already filled. Is this what you want from me? lucky they haven't actually ran over here to set up traps yet but they normally may run over here to do that now so i'll have some traps to deal with when i get into this lane the shrines may now be empowered oh, geez, screw that boss there it is let the team know to capture the objectives Alright, done my part. Next is running. You must die for me to take you. Who just got Yes. So. Nice. Oh, I had some help. Okay. Oh, they haven't captured the objective yet. Alright, here we go. We have empowered both shrines for a boss minion. Somebody died. Well do, mistress. I don't know if I have enough money for a boss. I feel so Kill him, and then murder the crap out of her. We are breaking through the defenses. Alright, seems to be working out pretty well. They're gonna die the first point. thing though. I need to make sure I have enough HP to get back. Each fifth brings you closer to my grass. Killing machines! Cool, got him. And you thought I was running low on mana. It's a good idea, even if you're not the pillager, to uh, kind of pop these along the way 
uh, when you're running back for your minions, just to get that uh, bonus minion experience. Yeah, that just hit level two, so he went to go change the minions. The shrines may now be empowered. Let's grab another boss. Glad to know we're on the same wavelength here. Come on, we can do this. There we go. All right, we don't have to worry about that part anymore. And on the right, they have captured it. So I'm going to harass Luffy. How does it feel to know? Got it. Okay. So Ozio can only get uh, three stacks on his uh, Wraith Legs. Oh crap, he's gonna die. We're breaking through the defenses. We're breaking through the defenses. Blew me the hell up. Okay, um, I'm still rocking a pretty low amount of deaths. And other than a uh, Euro, I have the highest level. I presume I didn't miss too much. Oh, they ran satyrs. I don't think we should have ran satyrs this soon. Or kobolds, one or the other. Well, no, no, because this side I was able to push through like almost completely already, so that may not be bad. But they're not going to kill anything. And we still need to take out the guardian. We're breaking through the defenses. I'll tear your soul apart first. Lucky I don't you we have empowered both tribes for a boss minion. So much damage on us, it's ridiculous. Our guardian has fallen. Why are our guardians falling? That never makes sense to me. <coughs> It is like bringing you home. We have summoned the boss That's how high his damage is. The more, I, the more I take. Okay. The full health health game is added to the next attack. That one soul stack. Oh, we got a boss. Blood for power. Grab that. Get the mana max up. The gate. They're really pushing on that one gate that we have there. Okay. We've defeated an enemy guardian. We're breaking through the defenses. He's gonna run through defenses. here, and if they don't die, we're dead. Boss in, boss in. Sweet! Wow. Well, that was an incredibly good run there. Twelve to three. I didn't have the highest kills, but. I definitely dealt a ton of guardian damage. More than twice what everybody else did. It was probably because I was uh, backing up the archers initially. I'm going to remember that strategy. It seemed to work pretty well. Might have to uh, tweak the deck that I'm using. But either way, that came out really, really, really solidly.
So I guess that will be it for now. Uh, I definitely appreciate you guys for watching. Um, if you'd like to see anything else that I've done, feel free to take a look around the channel. Subscribe if you want to see more. Um, I'm going to be trying to release things uh, pretty steadily from here on out. Um, probably something like a, a video every uh, other day. Do a video every day, somewhere between that frequency. Um, so you should be seeing about three to seven videos a week from me. And uh, some of it will include a bit more Orcs Must Die. Uh, again, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Feel free to leave any comments or like the video if you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. Have a good one.